morning everyone today we will study about polynomials in 9th standard we already studied about polynomials the continuation in 10th standard polynomial is an algebraic expression in the form of a0 plus m1x plus b2x square plus etc plus an x raised to n where a0 a1 a2 etc an are real numbers and the power of the variable is a positive integer then we can say it is a polynomial of one variable and what is the expression sir and we can say it is a polynomial of one variable example x squared plus 2x plus 4 see that here is a algebraic expressions in the form of a0 plus f(x) plus a2x squared plus etc plus a x raised to n where a0 a1 a2 etc an are real numbers and the power of the variable is a positive integer then we can say is a polynomial of one variable so here two conditions are following one is the, the coefficient power of the coefficient of the variable is a positive is a real numbers and the power of the variable is a positive integer then we can say is a polynomial of one variable so see this example is x square plus 2x plus 4 here the coefficient of the variables here is 1 Here is two and here is four. He said real numbers. And power of the variables two, one, and zero. Therefore, it is a polynomial of one variables. <coughs> one more example. Two three x squared plus five x plus one is again a polynomial because here the coefficient of the variables root root three. Root three is an irrational number, but it is a real number. And five and one. First conditions. Second one, power of the variable two, one, and zero. Therefore, three, root three x square plus five x plus one is a polynomial of one variable. One more example. X square plus one by x plus one. Here. is not a polynomial why the power of the variables here is x square is a positive integer and here is x is a minus 1 therefore is not a polynomial of one variable Now, value of the value of zero is equal to zero minus 
Zeros of a polynomial. Is P of x is equal to x square minus 2x plus 1. P of x is equal to x square minus 2x plus 1. Here x is a variable, so we can take any real number of variables. Now I think x is equal to 0. Now P of 0 is equal to 0 minus 2 into 0 plus 1. That is equal to 0 minus 0 plus 1. That is equal to 1. Now, x is equal to 1 item. Then p of 1 is equal to 1 square minus 2 into 1 plus 1. That is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 1. That is equal to 2 minus 2 equal to 0. The value of the polynomial is coming 0. Then which value we are substituted for the variable? Then that value is called the zeros of the polynomial. Here x is equal to 0 we are taken. Then the value of the polynomial is going to be 1. Here x is equal to 1 we are taken. The value of the polynomial is going to be 0. Therefore, x is equal to 1 is a 0 of the given polynomial. One more example. P of x is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1. x is equal to minus 1, p of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 square plus 2 into minus 1 plus 1, that is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 1, that is equal to 2 minus 2 equal to 0. Therefore, the 0 of the given polynomial is minus 1. First degree polynomial is called a linear polynomial. Second degree polynomial is called the quadratic polynomials. X 
example x square plus 2x plus 5 standard form a x square plus b x plus c shape of the graph if you are drawing the graph parabolic shape shape of the curve is a parabola next table cubic pole what is a cubic pole in the third degree pole the degree of the golden bell is 3 then we can say it is a polygon to be polygon Shape of the graph. Circular shape. It will intersect into the x-axis three times. Next. Fourth. By quadratic. by quadratic polynomial fourth degree polynomial is called by quadratic polynomial standard form example sorry example x is to 4 plus 3x to plus 2x square plus 6 plus 7 standard form a x is to 4 plus b x to plus c x square plus d x plus e now here the shape of the graph We are going to draw to intersect in the x axis four times. One, two, three. To intersect in the x axis one, two, three, and four. The four times. One is called by quadratic polynomials. is called a linear polynomial example x plus 1 now we want to find out the zero of zero of linear polynomial now last year standard form is equal to a x plus b now we want to find out the zero that is why this a x plus b we are getting into zero then a x is equal to minus b and x is equal to minus b now That is equal to that is a zero of the polynomial. So, for example, x plus one we are getting here. 
a is equal to 1, b is also 1. Now x is equal to 1 upon minus 1 by 1 minus 1 minus 1. Minus 1 is the 0 of the polynomial itself. In case of linear polynomials, only 1 0 we can find. In case of linear polynomial, we can find out only 1 0. Now we will go to form ordinary polynomials. Second degree polynomial is called a quadratic polynomial. Standard form ax square plus bx plus c. ax square plus bx plus c is called. It's a standard form of quadratic polynomial. So, what are examples? x square minus plus 5x plus 6. We say quadratic polynomials because the degree of polynomials that we do plus 5x plus 6. Now, how to find out the zeros of quadratic polynomial? We want to find out the zeros of quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial. x square plus 5x plus 6. How we can find out the zero of quadratic polynomial? Now, we are knowing that identities x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b x plus a b. So this part is given as x square a plus b x plus a b. Here a plus b equal to 5 and a b is equal to 6. Two numbers we want the sum is 5 and product is 6. Product is 6. Two numbers we want to find out. Sum is equal to 5 and product is 6. Therefore, 3 and 2. Now, this x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to. We can write x square plus this a plus b x that is 3 and 2. bx plus 2x plus 6. That is equal to. First, two terms. X is common, then we can take it outside. X plus 3. Here is 2 is common. We can take it outside. X plus 3. So, X plus 3 is common for both the terms. That is equal to X plus 3. Into X plus 3. These are the factors of X square plus 5X plus 6. These are the factors of X square plus 5X plus 6. Now, we want to find out the zeros. That is why we are getting little zeros. X plus 3, x plus 2 equal to 0. We want to find out the zero. That is why this factor we are getting with the 0. Now, x, now apply the zero theorem. So any number is multiplied with the 0, it will come out 0. Then x plus 3 is equal to 0, x plus 2 equal to 0. Then x is equal to minus 3. Zeros of x square plus 5x plus 6. X, x, x equal to minus 3 and x is equal to minus 2 are the zeros of x square plus 5x plus 6. This method is called splitting the middle terms. This is called splitting the middle terms. Last year we were studying. One more example. x square plus 7x plus 2. Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomials. Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomials. x square plus 7x plus 2. So here also, product is equal to. We can write once again this polynomial x square plus 7x plus 12 equal to. Product is equal to what? 12. 
sum is equal to sin of 4 and 3 4 and 3 are the two numbers sum is equal to sum is 7 and product is 12 so we can split the many times x square plus 4x plus 3x plus 12 first two times we are considering x is common we are taking outside x plus 4 plus 3 we can get outside x plus 3 now x plus 4 is common for both times x plus 4 x plus 3 this we are getting the package so x square plus 7x plus 12 now we want to find out the zeros that is why x plus 4 into x plus 3 equal to 0 x plus 4 equal to 0 and x plus 3 equal to 0 we are applying the zeros pair of <coughs> Now x is equal to minus 4 and x is equal to minus 3 are the zero so x square plus 7x plus 2. This is finding the zero square quantity for the answer. So one more question. x square first one plus 5 x plus 6 second one x square minus 2 x minus 8 third one 4 x square minus 4 x plus 1. this is the homework for you see you tomorrow thank you